Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. It was a lively spring day here in Ireland and I thought I would take full opportunity of all the dandelions growing wild in the fields. Now the dandelions are an incredibly special weed and they are one of the first foods that the bees enjoy in spring. So I wanted to make some dandelion honey and I made sure I went to a field that had plenty for myself and also the bees. Now what was funny about making the dandelion honey is it didn't quite turn out like it was meant to. And it got me laughing and thinking of how I had thoroughly enjoyed the whole process. So I thought I would share tips of how to enjoy the process in life. So the first tip I have is that remembering that I get to choose my actions. So we live in a world where we're all trying to control everybody else's behavior. And I learned from Dr. William Glasser that the only person's behavior I can control is my own. And when I learned that, I felt incredibly empowered. I realized for the first time that I actually was in choice. The next tip I have for enjoying the process is I focus on my own journey and no one else's. Now years ago I used to constantly look at everybody else's life and wish that I was living their life. Now I choose to live my own life that's right for me. I find that I limit time on social media because when I'm on there and I'm looking at other people's lives I naturally then start to compare myself with others. You know the way we think that the grass is always greener on the other side. We say that a lot here in Ireland. And it never is. And the more I focus on my own journey, I can connect more with my inner guidance. And I take action then that's true to me. So I'm not doing something just because somebody else is doing it or because I think society approves of that or I'm in competition. I'm doing something because it feels right for me. The next tip I have for enjoying the process is I try and remember to stay detached to the ups and downs of life. I remember learning years ago that happiness and distress come and go. They're fleeting. And if I focus on one of them or the other, I can become attached and miss out on the wonderful journey unfolding in front of my eyes. The next tip I have for enjoying the process is remembering that I'm in charge of encouraging myself. So years ago, I always used to look to others to give me encouraging, thinking that was what I needed. Until I realized that I'm the one responsible for cheering myself on, so to speak, being my own best friend. And this is incredibly important when I'm feeling like giving up or I'm having a hard day. It's that time that we really need to be there for ourselves. And I remind myself that it's easy to be happy and nice to myself when everything is going swimmingly and the way I want it to go. But our true strength of character lies when we are there for ourselves when we're going through a really difficult time in life. The next tip I have for enjoying the process is remembering that we can overestimate what we can get done in a year and underestimate what we can do in 10 years. And I learned this years ago and it got me thinking that it's all about patience. And I realized that patience really is the key to enjoying the process. So before I was so focused on the end result, 
speeding up so that I could get there quick enough. And I never enjoyed any of the process and life just flies by in a blink of an eye. I remember reading a lovely analogy years ago where it talked about look at life like you're driving a car at night time with the headlights on. You know the way you can only see just a little bit in front of you. So in the process in life you just take one step after another and keep continuing throughout the journey and it makes it a lot more easier and more enjoyable. The next tip I have for enjoying the process is not looking to have any external recognition for what I'm doing. We live in a world where fame and external achievement is valued highly and yet inner happiness can get overlooked in this shiny and busy and materialistic world. I do things now because I love what I do, not because it will give me some external achievement. If that comes, that is fine, but I can remember to stay detached, for happiness and pleasure are fleeting, and everything in life there's ups and downs. So I know that the journey is what it's all about, and that I'm happy doing what I love every day. You can see this dandelion honey here. I think it looks a little bit more like treacle. So it got me laughing. I think what I'm gonna have to do is use it to make some biscuits in the future. So I chose to laugh at the situation because I thoroughly enjoyed the process. So there's nothing lost and only everything to learn. So I'd love to know what your tips are for enjoying the process more of life just to make life easier for ourselves. So let's share down below or over on Instagram. And thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.